Hello, welcome to another video from a long time. <laughs> so today the video is about the, um, the Volkswagen and Audi, they're the same group. Um, so like you can see here, this is a engine, so it's a BRD engine, 170 brake horsepower. So the problem with this engine was, so it failed. Uh, it looks like it's a common problem. So like you can see, this is not the bolt from this tensioner. Um, the original bolt from it from it snap off so i managed to drill the bolt and just put this one to see if the engine will start but of course the engine was running so it didn't bend the valves it just bent the rockers uh, like you can see if you can see in there that rocker is a little bit strange like uh, let me show you the position of it so i think the engine probably we will be able to save but we never know you can see that rocker so yeah it's in a sideways like you can see in there so yeah that's probably all the rockers gone i think all i think nine rockers gone on this but doesn't matter so what this is a video is about so i replace on this car here uh this engine but it's very expensive engine this one and so i get the bre the bre um is more cheaper and it's quite a good engine but i did have a problem in the beginning so when i fit the engine put everything new timing belt everything uh, in place and even I have to change the injectors because that one is 140 brake horsepower because the BRE they are 140 and this one is 170 so I have to change the wire the wire loom like you can see and the injectors the four injectors anyway so after start the car everything seems fine but then it start develop a white smoke so you can see lots of smoke come out from the, t the tailpipe in the beginning I was thinking, well, I was trying to start this engine before, see if we save the engine or not, when I put the bolt back. And I was thinking lots of fuel going to DPF, that's why it was leaving white smoke. No, it wasn't. So when I have a test drive, Jesus Christ, it was lots of smoke behind me, it looks like an old train. And I was wondering, like people online were saying, oh, it could be the head gasket, it could be this, it could be that. And I was like, head gasket, I just replaced the engine. So... <laughs> I cannot afford this be like, this is from a friend of mine. I cannot afford to change the engine again, because this is a big job. Uh, like you see, I don't have lifters, I don't have nothing. So me and my neighbor, we lifted and we attached to the gearbox a new flywheel clutch as well. Like you see, that's the old stuff. And then I was thinking, I was like, mm, okay. And the car was, was uh, idling after being hot, a little bit strange, and it was vibrating. So the people was talking about... Uh, this screws here uh, to adjust so I did that it didn't help at all so I was like okay it's not that so it's probably the engine have internal issues but then I remember okay I need to check something else so if I will show you now so this bit here okay so after you fit the timing belt you put the, the timing pins Everything was fine, but when I connect the, the scanner this morning, just leave to look for the key that is inside. So when I connect the scanner this morning, um, the only value is I pay attention. It was, I will show you how many miles already on the clock this is. It's quite a high mileage car. And the 62, like you can see, and the engine give up. Um, what I was saying. Oh, so in my computer, the, the, the injectors, they seem okay. Some of them is more higher than others, which you can expect for a PD engine. Um, so the torsion value, it was a bit high. So it was plus 228. And I was like, mm, okay, that can be a problem. So I was playing around with the torsion value um, of the car. It takes me a few attempts to get to zero. But guess what? There's no more smoke now. So the timing is correct, so which I put the pins for some reason, I don't know, because of the, the injectors being different, I'm not sure. But the torsion value now is zero, sometimes it's 28, zero, 28, zero, which is acceptable. And when you press the throttle, it goes zero straight away, so that's good. So, because even if the, the engine's still hot, so it starts all right now. And the main thing is, before it, even in idle, can see lots of smoke but it's clean now of course if you will look for the tailpipe you will always see smoke 
like very 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 light smoke because this is a PD engine so and I mean, even it's good now because he was vibrating a lot before and like you can see I'm pressing the throttle and the engine will start going hot going up in a minute because it's still hot even the air is very hot still but he seems good no smoke whatsoever And it sounds beautiful so yeah if you got a problem if that the white smoke the first thing check the the scanner if the torsion value and if it's too high or if it's too or if it's negative or positive just have a play with it but like you can see straight away when I start the car before with lots of smoke it's fine now So another thing I will teach you quick, yeah, there's some noise in here on an alternator, <laughs> that's the only thing it does. So in here I will explain you something. So if you have a plus, a torsion value, okay, so if you have a plus, it means this is too much for that side, too much to the left. So you undo this three bolt and just move very slightly to the right. This will give you, if you turn too much, it will go for negative. If you put on the right top, if you turn very slow, it will go on zero. So let's say if it's plus 1.8 or 2, you need to go forward a bit. If it's minus, you need to go backwards a bit. And then you will see, you will have the, the issue sorted. And like, no smoke before, Jesus Christ, he was idling. And after what, one minute, two minutes, it was a pile of smoke on the back of the car. I was like, no, don't tell me the engine is no good. But that one is not good, but that one is, is okay. I just hope this will help you because just, just play around with the torsion value first before you think it's the head casket. Stay safe.